What's up, YouTube? Um, ha how's y'all rock about? Uh, ugh, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit mixed up right now. Um, how's the Rockabilly Riots doing today? I haven't done any greasy talk in a while. I just, I, I really haven't thought of any videos I could do about the greasy stuff, but I am still very much into the greasy style. I love, um, I love the 50s, I love classic cars, I love motorcycles, I love the style itself, leather jackets, the t-shirts, the, the ripped up jeans, I love it all, but uh, yeah, I haven't really had time to do any videos about it because I couldn't think of any videos I could do. I mean, I showed y'all how I style, what, the way I style my hair normally, which lately, man, I have not been using any products at all, mainly because I cannot afford it right now. I'm living in a two-bedroom apartment by myself, have already struggling with, um, I mean, I'm not struggling, I'm able to keep up with my lights. Um, and my, um, rent itself, I'm able to keep up with all that and have groceries, but at the end of the day, it's kind of hard for me to have even, like, $10 left over after I get done paying everything, so, it, I really haven't been able to buy any products now that I, I, I'm not staying with my mother anymore, and I'm living by myself, and stuff like that. But, it's amazing. I, I cut my hair um, and just started letting it grow back. And I kept on, I got this um, hairbrush blow dryer thing that spins. And you uh, brush your hair with it and it blows out the heat through the bristles of the brush. And it's done awesome. I've been training my hair and it's naturally keeping that little pomp look. And it looks completely amazing right now. I'm not going to lie. I love my hair right now. Um, but yeah, it is awesome. Um, but I normally, I, I already showed y'all how I style my hair in general. I, um, I told y'all why I like the rockabilly style, why I love greaser. Um, I did some reviews on some pomades, which I can't really afford doing more reviews on any because obviously I can't get any. Um, I, I'm wanting to try to save up a little bit, maybe get me some more products. Um, but yeah, my hair is like this every day from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. I don't even have to do much to it. Just take that little blow dryer across it every day. And the only time I really do that is after I get out of the shower. Because obviously when I get in the shower, the water flattens it out a little bit. But I love it. Um, I, I did some reviews on some movies. Um, I, I, I showed y'all what I think about how a greaser dresses. I can't really think of any more stuff to do regarding the greaser style. So, I, I'm really stuck. I can't afford to do any more product reviews. I mean, I would love to get some hair waxes, some hair creams, some pomade, and stuff like that and do reviews on them. But right now, I just can't afford it. I'm sorry I'm messing with my hair a lot. I love my hair right now. I just love it. I am not wearing any product at all. I just love it. But yeah, I've been taking the blow dryer brush thing and I've been taking at my hair at different angles and then even
push doing the reverse to get get that height thing the way the pop door does and that's all I've been doing and it's been training really well and now it's gotten where it stays like this no matter what of course not shower them the water kind of makes it go flat but I am loving it but um if y'all can think of any greasy stuff I can show y'all please let me know I love the style still I, I talk about it a lot and I mean I'm not giving up the style I don't think I'll ever give up the style oh another thing off the grease subject but kind of on it at the same time okay there's this dude called Drake Bell he actually did a rockabilly album um he's a huge fan of um what's his name uh, it starts with a D. He's the dude that sang Blackbird. Uh, Dalton or something like that. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life. You were only... But he's a huge fan of him. He's a huge fan of Elvis. He, he, he loves the 50s and 60s. He, um... But, um, anyways, I'm a fan of his personally. A lot of greasers wouldn't be a fan of his because they would say he's not really, even though he has a greaser album, he's not really a greaser. Which really, if you think about it, I mean, he, he, his house is completely based off the 50s. He has all, of, like, his house is decorated like a Playboy mansion from the 50s. Like, literally. <laughs> Um, he has all this art and the checkered floor. His house is awesome. He does a lot of YouTube vines in his house. Um, but yeah, um, his house is freaking amazing. I love it. Um, he, he actually gone debt for a while because, um, just his house alone. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going, or at least that's what I read online. I'm not sure if it's true or not. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to a concert of his April the 3rd. And not only is it one of my um, great inspirations for music's um, concerts, but also it's the first concert I've ever been to. I'm not excited because it's him. I, I, I'm not the type of dude I get excited over celebrities. I'm excited because it's my first concert ever, man. It is just amazing. But yeah, I'm not the type to get excited just because I get to see a celebrity or something. I mean, if you think about it, even though their music is great, even though they got a great acting career... At the end of the day, they're just people, and you gotta think, they might not be what they seem in real life, what you think they're gonna be. There's a lot of times that they're, they might be dicks, but um, I'm sure he's not, but um, there's a lot of times they act cool in public, and then you, you finally get to talk to them, and it's just like, that, that person's a dick, so I'm not the type to get obsessed and um excited because i get to see a great idol of mine um i treat them like they're just any other person if they're cool they're cool if they're not they're not i mean hey you want to come kick at my house doesn't matter who you are i'm going to be cool to you just as long as you're cool to me and I ain't going to give you no special attention just because you're some famous person. I ain't going to be jumping all over you screaming, Hey, hey, it's you, it's you. Can I have your autograph? Can I have your autograph? Nah, I, I'm not that type of person. Uh, I've, I would never ask somebody for their autograph and I would never be one of those fans that jump over people. I mean, it, you got to think about it. I'm not going to want people jumping over me. Saying, hey, I love you, I love you. 
can can you sign my chest? Like those fangirls do. Or th those dudes that just go like, Hey man, wanna come over to my house and jam? You're like my biggest fan ever. You're like my biggest idol ever. I love you, man. I love you. You're awesome. You're a cool dude. I love you. Like, I I'm not those extreme fans that go jumping over people. I'm not like that. But, yeah, so the reason why I'm getting excited now ain't because it's him. It's because it's my first concert ever. And, yeah, I do love his music. I did like him and Drake and Josh and um, the Amanda show and even Home Improvements. Y'all might not know that about him, but he was actually in the show Home Improvements. He played, I think his name's Little Danny. He, he was the little kid that had the... Um, the hair, the long hair that had the same name as his father and a lot of times like to dress just like his father and act just like his father and he, he played that little kid in Home Improvements. So yeah, a lot of people don't know that. But um, yeah, he's about... He was about six years old at the time. And a couple of years later, when he was 17, he played in the Mana Show. Like, right around the time he was like 19, 20, he, he went on Drake and Josh with Josh. Both Drake and Josh both played in the Amanda Show. Um, and, um, right after that, he, he, um, he did movies like a superhero movie. He did. Uh, he played um, the Ultimate Spider-Man. Um, that old cartoon show. He played Peter Parker himself. Um, he played. What else did he play? Oh, damn. I can't remember. He played in quite a few superhero movies. Strangely. Uh, I would love... Because if you think about it... Right now he has... Um, the body and... If you ever seen his one album... Bitchcraft... Uh, well his one song Bitchcraft... I forgot the name of the album. But he also has the hair. He has... Um, if you see the... Um, the little cover, he even has that little Superman piece that hangs down. He he keeps the um, classics. Like, he literally has the perfect hair to play Superman. Like, he keep Um, a lot of people, they get Superman's hair more slicked back with time as well. But no, Superman actually did have a pomp. And, um... Superman was actually... Uh... Yeah, he had a pomp. It was more of a, um... One of those, um... Italian, um... Greaser styles, um... Where it was like the low pomp. But yeah, he, he did have kind of like one of those. So, I think it would be cool, now that Drake's starting to turn up, if he would actually play Superman. That would be pretty cool. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go to a concert of his pretty soon, um, and I'm probably going to do a live of it, um, on, I'm either going to do a live of it on my live me or I'm going to try to see if I can get rid of as much space as possible and video the whole concert to put it on YouTube most likely it's going to be a live on live me I do not know how to do lives on YouTube and I probably need somebody to help me with that but um I love my hair right now I just love it
But yeah, um, if if y'all can think of anything else, um, any other type of videos revolving Greaser that y'all want to see, because I do realize I haven't done one of those in a while. And I want to try to get back into them. Because my, my YouTube was mainly for Rockabilly Riots 2.0. I, I had another channel. Um, I don't use it anymore. Um, but I had another channel called Rockabilly Riots. But um, I can't even figure out how to get back on it. So that's why I renamed this one Rockabilly Riots 2.0. But yeah, that my channel, I mean, I always planned on doing gaming videos and stunt videos and um, how-to videos and stuff like that. But this channel was mainly supposed to be for Rockabilly Greaser. That, that's mainly what it was supposed to be for. I can't think of any more videos like that, do. So it's kind of got me stuck. If y'all think of any y'all want to see, I do them. Just, just leave a comment. 